More than 600 crews have spent the day plowing the light fluffy snow and salting all regions of the state. This the fourth storm in a week and a half that crews are out working in. Our crews are dedicated people, so they uh, come in, you know, Sunday, uh, um, uh, Sunday nights, uh, night weekends, whatever. That they're here to, to grind through this and and get it done. To, and we've done this, you know, many many times before. In Hampton, a messy commute this morning. The travel calming down by midday, allowing more space for plows to be out clearing the roads. Trying to get ahead of it, stay ahead of it, um, but. Um, we're going to we expect to see some issues as the day goes on. Hampton did put a snow ban in place to keep the roadways clear, but our understanding of contractors out working on homes that were damaged during the weekend storm. We're just trying to get vehicles moved out of the way so plows can get in, do their business and then let the contractors get back to getting people restored. But the assessments on a town and state level are on pause because of today's storm. Chief Reno saying it could be months before we know the full extent of damage done. The snow is definitely not helping the operations as far as the recovery goes or the assessment. So we're trying to wait for some of the snow to go away so that we can get a better, better look at uh, some of the damages. Now, I will say, as we've traveled along the seacoast today, we've definitely hit some slick spots, and it's definitely getting cold out right now. DOT is saying um, if you do need to go out on the roads, make sure you're giving yourself a little bit more time to get there, or better yet, they say if you can stay home, please do so. We're live in Portsmouth. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.